The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son so that your Son may glorify you just as you gave him authority over all the people so that your son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth, by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now, glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you because the words you gave to me I have given to them and they accepted and truly understood that I came from you and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world but for the ones you have given me because they are yours and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I'm coming to you. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise. to you. You know how I was with you from the beginning doing the work of God with humility. My dear sisters and brothers, these words of Paul that he did the works of God with humility, with commitment, with dedication despite the trials and tribulations that came his way inspire us to think of ourselves and how we carry out the will of God. In the gospel of the day, Jesus says the very same thing. I have accomplished the work that you gave me to do. Some of you may remember reading about Napoleon of Bonaparte. And as he lay dying there, his last words were, Thank God I have done my duty. It's true that we are here, that we are living our life. But has it ever occurred to us that uh, our life may be ours, but it is not about us. It's about God and what he wants us to do. It is as simple as this. When you employ someone to take care of the lawn or to watch over your children or to do the housekeeping or whatever, you expect and demand that they do it. You check on them, you supervise them, sometimes you chide them and there comes a point when you may have to let go of them because they need to do what they have been employed to do. Or when you make a little object and when you invent something, 
you expect that to function as you want it to function. Say, a little clock. From time to time, you remember those old clocks, you used to wind them, or you change your batteries, because they need to keep time, and they need to keep going all the time. How come you and I forget that we belong to God? That God has sent us into this world with a song to sing, with a life to live. And how well do we live that life? How well do we become that song? Can we, in all that we do, say that we are carrying out the works of God? In other words, the life in us is the life of God. It's God's own life. Take it as you want. And we need to be living our life for God, doing what he wants us to do. It may be that our way of life is different. I'm clergy. I do my thing all day and night. And you are family people, and you do your thing all day and night. But do you do it with love? Not just for your family, not merely because you love what you do, but is all that love motivated by that primacy of love, that primary love, that first love, the love of God. Otherwise, what on earth are we doing here? I hope someday you and I will be able to say as we breathe our last, thank God I've done my duty. I serve the Lord with humility, with constancy, and with commitment, despite the pain and persecution that came my way. I hope we'll be able to say like the Lord in the gospel of the day, I have accomplished the works that you gave me. Or do you remember those famous words from the cross? It's accomplished. It's complete. It's finished. In other words, I did your will. May we, as we begin each day, make our own the sentiments of the mother. May it be done unto me according to your word. Because our life may be ours, but it's not about us. It's about God and what he wants us to do. And how well are we living? How well are we loving? How well are we giving?